Ring 999 and an ambulance will come. It's one of the most basic expectations we have. But ambulances are now struggling to arrive in reasonable time and doctors warn lives are being put at risk. During the war, she was in the ATS. Um, Christine's 97-year-old mum, Hilda, vomited on Monday and the GP said call an ambulance. But when she did, Christine was told it would take over 12 hours to arrive. You feel helpless and a, a little bit panicked because you're aware that you will be alone with a very ill person that you care deeply about for a long time, for many hours. Um, and it, it's quite scary and quite lonely. After 12 and a half hours, West Midlands Ambulance did bring Hilda to this hospital in Redditch. In a statement, they apologised for the delay, adding it was because handovers to hospital are taking so long. Hospitals are struggling to discharge patients who need social care. Plus, their A&Es are swamped. So, ambulances end up parked up outside, effectively an extension to the emergency department. Here at Worcestershire Acute Trust in March, ambulance handovers took more than an hour on more than 1,000 occasions. With the average time, paramedics were parked up two and a half hours. Right across England, the impact on response times is clear. For the most urgent calls, life-threatening conditions like cardiac arrest, the target is seven minutes, but in April, the average was nine minutes. For Category 2 calls, like someone having a stroke, the target is 18 minutes, but in April, the average wait was 51 minutes. And for a Category 3 call, like the late stages of labour, only one in ten patients should wait more than two hours. But in April, one in ten waited more than six and a half hours for an ambulance to come. These people shouldn't be waiting. And I can't stress you enough how um, stressed and tired ambulance people are. And I say ambulance people because it's not just your paramedics, it's not just your technicians. You've got people answering nine and nine calls who are getting screamed at down the phone because there's no one coming. Today, NHS England pointed out April was an improvement on March and highlighted the importance of social care freeing up NHS beds, while the government said it is providing an extra £36 billion to do just that. Good news. Yes, good news. While we were filming, Christine got an update. Her mum is now well enough to come home. But these long delays make it inevitable that some patients will come to harm. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Worcestershire.